How to survive war. How to survive war. While almost everyone would like to avoid it, people unfortunately experience war every day. This is extremely stressful and dangerous, but you can deal with the situation if you maintain your focus and take the right steps. Gather and protect as many supplies as you can. Find reliable sources of food and water in the event of shortages. Avoid confrontation as much as you can, and move to a safer area if you have to. Finally, learn basic first aid skills to treat any injuries or illnesses you might encounter. Combined, these skills can keep you and your loved ones safe throughout survival situations. Staying safe. 1. Move to an area far from fighting if you can. Unfortunately, your home may become unsafe in the event of a war. If your area is no longer safe, do your best to relocate and find another place to live. 2. Find a strong, brick building with a basement for shelter. These buildings types can withstand the most damage and remain standing. Try to find a building that you can seal up in case there is a chemical leak or attack. 3. Build an insulated shelter, if you settle in a wooded area. If you flee the cities and hide in the woods, your biggest enemy will probably be the elements. 4. Avoid confrontations as much as you can. While a war probably makes you think of fighting, in reality, civilians usually survive a war by avoiding fights as much as possible. 5. Learn to use weapons to defend yourself or hunt. While you should try to avoid violence, always be prepared for the possibility. This is much easier if you already have weapons in your home and know how to use them. If not, then gather any weapons you may find and learn to use them. 6. Defend yourself if you have to. While you want to avoid violence, in some situations, fighting may be unavoidable. Some people try to hurt or exploit others during crises. If someone tries to hurt you or your loved ones, or steal supplies that you need to survive, fight back when you can. Finding supplies. 1. Hoard all of your resources and valuable items as soon as war starts. There is often little advanced warning about a war breaking out, so you may not have the opportunity to stock up on supplies. Work quickly as soon as you get the news. 2. Locate a clean water source. Water is the most important resource for humans, and clean water may become scarce in wartime. Bottled water sources will only last so long. As soon as the war starts, find all of the potential water sources in your area. 3. Gather canned and non-perishable food items. Your regular supply of food may be interrupted, so non-perishable items are essential. Once you get news that war has broken out, gather as many canned and non-perishable items as you can. 4. Learn to hunt and fish for extra sources of meat. If food becomes unreliable, you'll be at an advantage if you know how to hunt and fish. Work on your tracking and hunting skills to find other sources of meat. 5. Stockpile hygiene products if you find them. While hygiene may not be high on your list in a survival situation, it is more important than you may think. Practicing good hygiene can prevent illness and infection, and also help you feel better. 6. Determine which plants in your area are edible. Almost all areas have local plants that may be edible. Knowing which ones you can eat could save your life in a desperate situation. Study your local area and find the plants that are edible. 7. Avoid wasting anything. All resources are precious in wartime, so preserve everything you can. Reuse old rags to make clothes. Use food scraps to make stock. Catch rainwater. Don't let anything go to waste. 8. Loot supplies if you have no other choice. Unfortunately, people sometimes have to do desperate things to survive. If you come across supplies or stores that no one is watching or look abandoned, then take everything you need. Avoiding injuries and sickness. 1. Learn basic first aid to treat minor injuries. Injuries are unfortunately inevitable, and they can range from minor to serious. Develop at least a basic knowledge of first aid to treat the injuries you or a partner may encounter. 2. Stay away from any weapons and ordnance you come across. Unexploded mines, bombs, and other ordnance are a major cause of civilian injuries and death in war. 
If you're near a fighting zone, there may be dangerous materials strewn out everywhere. Don't touch anything. 3. Keep yourself clean to avoid infections. While it may be difficult, washing yourself regularly is an important way to stay healthy. 4. Purify any water you drink that isn't from a sealed bottle. A waterborne illness can be life-threatening in a survival situation. 5. Eat as healthy as you can. This isn't always possible and you have to survive on whatever food you can find. But if at all possible, keep your health up with nutritious food. A steady supply of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and fatty acids will help keep your immune system up and fight off sickness. Maintaining your composure. 1. Stay updated on news about the war. Information is critical to surviving a war. Monitor the progress of the war to find out which areas are safe or dangerous, and where you might find resources. This information may be scarce, but there are methods you can use to stay informed. 2. Keep up personal relationships with family and neighbors. These personal relationships will help you get through the crisis. Having family members around helps to ease your stress. Protecting them also gives you a purpose, which can drive you to push yourself harder in stressful situations. 3. Build a positive mental attitude. In any survival situation, maintaining your composure and ability to think logically is key. Letting despair and grief take over your mind will make logical thinking much harder.